What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about water methanol injection and what it might be able to do for you and what it does for us. I feel like water methanol injection is a great option if you are stuck or limited to running pump gas. Also, excuse my voice, I am just getting over being sick all last week so please bear with me on that. But I want to talk about the water methanol system as a whole. I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown on how we have it set up on our car. Then I also want to show you guys some data logs. I'm going to show you a data log where we had the water methanol injection off and then a log where we had it on. And I'm going to show you some of the problems we ran into with the injection off. What you're going to see in the logs has nothing to do with our tuner. It was not our tuner's fault. It was 100% on me. I forgot to turn off the water methanol injection, so I figured it would be a great time to give you guys some examples of how well water methanol actually works. So let's get through the intro and jump right into the video. So now that we've gotten through the intro, let's go ahead and take a look at how we have our system set up. If you guys want a more in-depth video on how we have our methanol system ran, you can go back on the GTO playlist and check it out. We've got a playlist dedicated to this car and everything we've done to it since we picked it up as a completely gutted roller. So we're going to start back here in the trunk and I'm going to show you guys where our system starts off. So as you can see here, we've got our tank to the left and then our pump is mounted down here. Now every system for the most part is going to need a tank and a pump unless you are using a washer fluid tank. So then we can move on up here to our in car area and in the cabin here we have a couple things related to the water methanol system. So we're going to start off here in my armrest and as you can see we are running the AEM controller. Now they do make one for boost which is this one and then they also have one for NA cars and what this allows you to do is if we wanted to set this up so that we have it starting to spray over here at 2 psi and then we set this one at 15, it will start spraying at two and gradually ramp up to 15 PSI where it will be at full spray. Now with the AEM system, we use a controller, but you can also use a hob switch style setup where it just comes on at a set PSI and is full spray at the same time. So we've got this wired into my ignition, so it comes on as soon as the key comes on, which is important for later in the video uh, when we show you guys the data logs and I'll explain why then. But you can see we've got an LED mounted up here, which mirrors the LED on the controller. This will tell me if I have any fault codes or any issues or low fluid with our tank, but it does not tell us if we have pressure up at the nozzles. So we went ahead and added an LED. You can't see it, but it's up in here. It's a blue LED that kicks on when we have pressure at the nozzles. And I will show you guys how that is set up as well. All right, so now that we're up here in the engine bay, let's take a look at how we have the rest of the system set up. So as you can see, we've got two nozzles spraying directly into the intake manifold right before the throttle body. And then we've got another nozzle down under here hidden below this charge pipe that sprays directly into the blower to try to keep that as cool as possible. Now the AEM system came with a single nozzle and it looked like an injector. It was about yay tall. And uh, we decided to change it up to these nozzles so that we could run multiple. Now, you might be asking why I chose the AEM system if I was going to modify it so much. And that reason is simple. I got the whole AEM system on Facebook Marketplace used for 100 bucks, And it seemed like a great starting point at the time. But as I learned more about water methanol injection, there were some things that I wanted to change. Like I had mentioned, there's a full video on the AEM system and the modifications we made on the GTO playlist. So if you guys want to know more about it, you can go back and check that out. But one of the most important things that we did add was that blue LED on the dash, which is triggered by this pressure switch down under here. So we've got our line coming from the trunk with the water methanol. It goes into this union right here where we have this pressure sensor, and then it goes directly to the nozzles. Now, the reason we did that is so that we know for a fact that we have pressure in the engine bay. The LED that is on the AM controller and the one that I have on my dash that mirrors it, 
is a great asset to have. It'll tell you that you have fluid in the system and that the pump kicks on, but it will not tell you if you have actual pressure up here. So that's why we wanted to add the blue LED as a safety feature. So now that I've showed you guys how we have our system set up, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the benefits to running water methanol. All right guys, so before we take a look at these data logs, I just wanted to go over a few things about the water methanol injection. Uh, we're running Boost Juice. It's a 50-50 mix of water and methanol, and it has worked phenomenal for us. Now, one of the main things about the water methanol injection systems is it's super cheap. It's a super cheap option. You can get a kit for a couple hundred bucks new or a few hundred bucks new, depending on which kit you choose, or you can get a used one and modify it like we did. I'm into this whole kit for under $200 and I purchased the original kit on Facebook for $100, so it's a great cheap option and a cheap alternative to running race gas all the time. And if you don't have the ability to run E85, it's perfect. We are gonna get this car on E85 here soon, but even once it's on E85, I will continue to run the water methanol injection. So the number one reason that we run water methanol is because we currently run pump 93 octane fuel in this car, and with pump 93, you run into issues with detonation, especially if you have high intake air temps. Now, running the methanol will actually up the octane of whatever fuel you're running, which helps prevent knock or detonation. So that is a huge benefit for us. And we're also using it for the cooling effects that the water methanol has. Now, when you spray water methanol into your intake manifold or your charge piping, the water pretty much instantly evaporates, which sucks a lot of the heat right out of the air which in turn will lower your intake air temps and up your air density, which allows you to make a lot more power. Now, like I had mentioned earlier, we are spraying post and pre blower, which is helping us out quite a bit. And I will show you guys in the logs how much of a difference that actually makes on our intake air temps. Uh, it definitely helps drop them down into a much safer range. Sometimes we get them down all the way to ambient or even a little bit lower. Now the methanol raises the octane, the water evaporates and helps cool the intake air charge. So all around, it's just a way better option than running just pump 93. We would have to turn this thing down quite a bit for it to be in a range that I'd be safe with. So with that being said, let's go ahead and whip out the laptop and take a look at these data logs. All right guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at these data logs. So the first one we have here is a pull where I completely forgot to turn on the water methanol injection. That was 100% my fault. And as you can see, we start the pull, everything looks good, but then we start to pick up knock, and that's where the issue comes in. Like I said, this was without water methanol and 100% my fault. We have since wired the water methanol injection to come on with the ignition. So this is a picture that I cropped together for you guys. I wanted you to take a look at it. As you can see on the left here, this is the log that we just looked at where we picked up knock. And then the one on the right was taken within minutes of this first one. And we changed absolutely nothing except for turning on the water methanol injection, same tune and everything. And as you can see, we had zero knock on the second pull where I actually remembered to turn the water methanol injection on. In this last log, I just wanted to show you guys how quickly water methanol injection can actually lower your intake air temps. In our case, it dropped it by over 40 degrees in the matter of just a couple seconds. So that coupled with the added octane you gain from running the methanol injection is a huge advantage to running water methanol injection along with your pump gas instead of pump gas just on its own. All right, guys, so there you have it. I showed you in the logs what water methanol does for us and what it could potentially do for you guys. I think it's a great option if you don't want to run race fuel or don't have the accessibility to E85. So as always, I appreciate you guys for checking out the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell, and we will catch you on the next one.